So every now and then I still see these same two questions. Hey, how do you unlock the Archivist on Epic? Or hey, how do you get a purple lightsaber? Which are totally understandable because they were super confusing for me and a bunch of other people on the forums because you're not taught this anywhere in the game, not in any of Lenovo's official like support links, not in the user manual, not in the FAQs. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they do it. Maybe it was intentional, maybe they wanted us to figure it all out on our own. I don't know, but regardless, those two questions are like one and the same, so we're gonna cover both of them right now. I am happy to see you again. So in order for me to answer these two questions, I have to explain the game's overall structure. And it's pretty impossible to understand that structure just by me speaking words into your face. So we're gonna dive into the game right now and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. Here's the main menu. The very first thing you see when you load up Star Wars Jedi Challenges. This game has seven stages, three game modes, three levels, and three difficulties. The seven stages are represented as the following planets. Naboo, Garel, Lothal, Hoth, Takodana, the core, you can think of those six planets as your primary planets. Then there is one more planet outside of this main solar system, and that is Crate. Crate is a bonus stage that was added later to the game as part of the Last Jedi update. On each of those seven planets, you will find three game modes, strategic combat, hollow chess, and lightsaber battles. Within each game mode, there are three levels. These are very simply labeled level one, two, and three. Then there is one other aspect to this game, and that's difficulty. There are three difficulties in this game. First encounter, which is the easiest, second encounter, and lastly, the epic encounter, which is the hardest. Difficulties only apply to one of the three game modes lightsaber battles. To sum up everything I just showed you, the game has a useful little map that you can access by hitting the menu button on the side of your headset. This might be a more intuitive way to understand the game structure for some people. It's also a good way to quickly measure your progress in the game. This screen is called Holocron Mastery, and as you can see, it's divided into three game modes. From left to right, they are strategic combat, lightsaber battles, and hollow chess. In each section, you'll see a vertical list of the six primary planets and next to them you'll see either an empty or a gold circle depending on whether or not you have completed that game mode on that planet. There is one other thing to note and that is that for the core planet stage 6 there are only two difficulties the first encounter and the epic encounter. Now as if all of that isn't already confusing enough the first encounter on the core planet actually takes place after all the other lightsaber battles on the second encounter. In other words, you've got lightsaber battles on the first five planets on the first encounter, and then you start over on the second encounter, complete those same five planets, and this time you get to lightsaber battle on the sixth planet, which in reality is as difficult or more difficult than a typical second encounter duel on any of the other planets. But for some reason, I guess, since it's the first time you're on the core planet, they're calling it the first encounter. Okay, so that was a lot of information I know, and if you're still confused, I totally get it. It took me a long time just to figure out how to explain this all to you, and I'm still not confident I did that in a good way, so apologies if you're still confused. <laughs> Anyways, I said all that to say this. In order to unlock the purple lightsaber, you need to defeat the Archivist on the epic difficulty. But, but, in order to even face the the archivist on the epic difficulty first, you have to complete every other level on every other difficulty on every other planet. Oh my god, I... As I said that, I just realized that there is literally one more way I need to confuse you right now, and that is the planet crate. It doesn't count for anything we're talking about. It is just pure and simple, a bonus DLC map that doesn't count at all towards your holocron mastery, so just ignore it for the purposes of this video. <laughs> so to sum it all up, once you have completed and beaten every single level of every game mode within Jedi Challenges, you will unlock the final level, which is to lightsaber battle the Archivist on the hardest difficulty. And if you beat her, you will have beaten the game, but more importantly, you will be awarded the rank of Jedi Master, a new passive force ability called Dueling Master, and finally, 
a purple lightsaber. Thanks so much for watching guys, that was day number 5 and the conclusion of Sky Guys Padawan Week, where every day I've been sharing tips to help you with Star Wars Jedi challenges. I really hope these were helpful for you guys, and if you missed any this week, you can click this link up here, and that will take you to the official playlist for my Padawan Week. I had a lot of fun doing these, but if I'm being completely honest, I am exhausted. So I'm gonna go to sleep right over there for about a week, hopefully, and when I wake up, I'll probably make another video. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll see you guys again in a week or so. Until then, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. May the force be with you, and remember... Pass on what you have learned. That is the true burden of all masters.